Peace, love, and a bottle of hair grease, y'all. Shada Gemini returning for another amazingly amazing video, okay? So before I get started, I do just want to say uh, thank you to all my new subscribers, okay? Um, thank you for the emails, um, about advice in the DMs like that. Um, I really appreciate y'all just for really reaching out. You know, I have to really address that every single time I do a video. Um, also, um... Please visit my website, uh, cosmicchaos.com slash Shada Gemini uh, for inquiries on readings, okay? I don't do them via email anymore, you know what I'm saying? Go through my website, look through there, see what type of reading that you want, and then inquire um, about it in my email so we can rearrange for a natal chart reading, okay? Okay. Um, but if you do want other readings like tarot card readings, um, just email me uh, directly or just even consultation. Just email me directly and uh, we'll talk about it. We'll set up a date. We'll make something shake. OK, um, so this video um, I really wanted to do because a couple weeks ago I did go through a very uh, powerful experience. OK, I really wanted to talk about um, transforming pain into power or your power. OK, um, and I think. It was really imperative for me to do this because this has really been a theme of my life. You know what I'm saying? And even when you're going into the occult, this is kind of the theme in the occult, okay? Uh, especially when dealing with a spiritual awakening, okay? So, um, everybody's been hurt, okay? Everybody has been in some type of uh, pain or despair. And it really, it sucks. It does. Um so a couple weeks ago, I had to experience some type of pain um, from someone that I love very dearly. Um, it was very hurtful. Um, everything's good now. But at the time, you know, uh, I was going through a wave of emotions, okay? Um, so, like I said in my last video, um, I'm really just getting to know myself more and doing more shadow work, okay? And um, a lot of things I'm realizing about myself that, you know what I'm saying, I I thought I knew, but I didn't really know. So it's been really healthy for me to just to be doing like a lot of internal work. And it's just really figuring out who I am and um, how I can be the best version of myself in this lifetime, okay? Um, so with transforming pain into power, all right, you have to first be solidified or know who you are to the point where you become unfuckwittable okay not know thyself i've stated this before as in you know we're from africa we build pyramids we did this and this and this okay that's cool you know what i'm saying but know who you are you know what i'm saying know who you really are the 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 essence that inhabits your vessel um you need to be familiar with that okay and a lot of uh, people in the conscious community um tend to uh, like i said just come into certain knowledge and then just change on a surface level you know what i'm saying on a superficial level so like i said start wearing they start wearing head wraps they start changing the way they talk they start uh, switching up their diets and reading Marcus Garvey all day. Like I said, which is cool, but you have to do more than that than just be a better human. You know what I'm saying? You have to be, you have to do more than that, basically, okay? So knowing who you are in regards to knowing your weaknesses, knowing your strengths, knowing um, your triggers, Knowing what makes you happy, knowing what makes you mostly secure, knowing what drives you, um, things of that nature, okay? So, being familiar with your internal world and your subconscious mind, okay? That's what knowing, knowing yourself means, okay? So, uh, when you're going through pain, uh, what I'm learning, I had an issue with, um, when I experienced emotions, I used to just try to rationalize myself out of my emotions, so I can keep pushing forward because I don't like sending in emotions long. Um, like I stated before, I have an Aries moon, so it's very hard for us to really sit in our emotions in the pool of despair and then just wallow in our emotions. That's like kind of water sign moons rather than, you know, 
fire sign moons or earth moons or air moons okay so um but i'm learning that it's okay to experience the emotions go through the emotions instead of just trying to figure out how to move on from those emotions okay so when you're going through pain feel the feels okay feel the feels recognize okay i'm here this sucks cry do what you have to do find coping mechanisms healthy coping mechanism that doesn't destroy yourself or impede on other people's free will or things like that um constructive coping mechanisms so whatever that looks like for you i know my coping mechanisms are is a uh, music um i use music um, as a very powerful healing tool um when i'm go going through pain um and i use other methods of coping okay so when you're experiencing pain like i said just feel the feels let them come but it's imperative that you don't stay there okay because at the core or somewhere in your deepest pain is your greatest strength okay and when you find that that is when the phoenix can rise from the ashes okay and one thing that i am learning that uh transformation is a big part of my life because um in my birth chart i'm very uh pluto oriented okay pluto is a very strong uh influence in my birth chart okay and pluto or scorpio or these themes also deal with the occult the eighth house in your birth chart is the house of the occult so a lot of these themes we see when we're dealing and when we're studying the cult. this is the shit that panic be talking about um being able to transform yourself okay and a lot of misconceptions well transformation can happen in a wide variety of things but the greatest transformation happens through pain Okay, so I had to really realize that um, that's just a part of my, that's just a part of my transformation, experience of pain. Like I can't get old, like in this lifetime, I'm going to experience, you know, moments of pain. It's, it's really inevitable. The way that my soul set, is set up, that's what I'm meant to experience because from that pain, from dealing with us, particularly in like relationships and things like that, um, from that pain is my greatest source of power okay so you have to find something within your wallowing or within your grieving process i don't know what that might look like for you i know what it looks like for me and i can't explain my process of me climbing myself out you know what i'm saying um kind of that pit of despair because I experience pain to a high degree, emotional pain to a high, very high degree. It's almost scary, you know what I'm saying? But that's just a part of my spectrum, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can either have, I'm, I'm just a really very intense person, you know what I'm saying? Even though <laughs> I seem very, you know, light and airy and, you know, talkative and things like that behind closed doors, you know, I'm a very intense person, you know? I, uh, I just have really this energy to me. I notice when I go out in the world, and I see kind of how it manifests itself, okay? So you have to find out in your, when you're going through your deepest pain, um, what, something that pulls you out, okay? For me, what pulled that out was, uh, what pulled me out of my despair was understanding that my pain that I was experiencing at the time wasn't greater than my purpose, Okay, I had to really, and that's why I really thank y'all for reaching out to me so much because during that time, my pain process, a lot of y'all was emailing me about this and this and this, and just the simple fact that y'all actually really trust me um, to assist you guys and give you guys um, advice or guidance, um, that gave me purpose. So I really want to thank all y'all just, um, if you email me or DM me a couple years ago, I mean, a couple years ago, a couple weeks ago, um, I really appreciate that because uh, me being able to answer y'all really, damn, I just thought about it. Yeah, me being able to answer y'all, that was my source of me getting out of my pain, okay? The situation I was going through at the time 
uh, it did hurt. It did. Because, like I said, everything's good now, but at the time, you know, somebody that I love, some things just wasn't how we thought it was going to be. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, doing that painful process, doing that process, like I said, it, was just, it just sucked. Okay, so with y'all emailing me and DMing me, that was my strength out of my pain. That's when I began to rise and then transform and use that experience to continue to propel and push forward. And th- But take the lessons that I learned with me sitting in my pain. You know what I'm saying? But that is what I had to realize. I had to realize that my purpose was greater than my pain. Who I am was greater than my pain, okay? And then you have to really understand, um, Bobby Heeman explained this as, as well, like you have to really understand what type of power that you have, okay? I have the power to not only transform me, but transform people I'm involved with, okay? People um, people close to me, whether it's friends, um, whether it's my parents. My, yeah, that's the type of power I have. I have the power of transformation, not only within myself, but with others as well. You know what I'm saying? Making, it's not on purpose, you know what I'm saying? But because I am, I recognize how my personal power and just really how powerful I am. And this is what I, why I do what I do because I don't want my spiritual process to be in vain. I don't want my pain to be in vain. All of my videos that I've told about my experiences, I had to um, be completely destroyed um, to share those experiences. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want, I just, I do this to inspire y'all to understand that if I found something great within myself, if I found this power that I never knew I possessed and I see it every day when I interact with people that are close to me, then you can find something similar in you, maybe even greater. Like I said, but you have to figure out what your power is. You know what I'm saying? You have to figure out what power that you're blessed with and then you make that work okay my power is you know doing this sitting in front of the camera inspiring people um doing readings uh, transforming people breaking generational curses um communicating um with people's ancestors um clear cognizance you know what i'm saying i have uh, all of these abilities you know what i'm saying so when dealing with pain you have to really understand that your purpose and you have to find your purpose and how you do that you go within you go within to find your purpose and it sounds kind of corny it sounds kind of simple but it's so simple that it's easy you know what I'm saying? or it's so simple I'm sorry it's so simple that it's complicated okay because um, when you begin to really do real internal work um, you're gonna find some shit about yourself that kind of makes you uncomfortable and this is where it comes to facing your demons you know what i'm saying but you make your demons work for you or you make your shadow self work for you so you turn all your negative attributes into you transform that into a positive outlet you know what i'm saying now however you may do that is completely on you okay like I said, you have to really figure out, you have to really know who you are to the point where when something happens in your outside world, it does not shake you because you understand why you came here. You understand the power that you possess. You understand that the effect that you have on other people. You understand when you're going. You understand what you, where have you been. You know what I'm saying? You understand, you, you just have an understanding and you're solidified in the person or rather the soul that you are. You know what I'm saying? And it's to the point now where I had to think about this too. Um, everybody know time is changing. Everybody know that shit is changing. Age of Aquarius or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, this shit is, is getting very serious, okay? So we're living in a time where the matrix is falling apart. And this shit is really crumbling. But that's a good thing because... This allows for the impossible to become possible. And I really had to sit down to myself and really be like, well, damn, like the shit that worked for my parents 20, 30 years ago, maybe even 10 years ago, is not going to work for me. 
you know what I'm saying? Like I, and I used to kind of base my life or base my success or base my self-worth based on my mother's standards. But I had to, that's when I had to realize me and my mother are two different people. You know what I'm saying? We have two different purposes. We're two different souls came here for two different reasons. So I understand that this time in the age of Aquarius is the best time for us because you can really do whatever the fuck that you want to do. It's like, once you become the magician, it's like you can really manipulate reality or your reality or your outside world to your liking. And I think a lot of people don't really understand the severity or really the importance or really just how real this shit really is. You can really do whatever the fuck that you want to do. You know what I'm saying? There is nothing that is imp impossible. And yeah, they shit that shit 20 years ago, but it was we was under a different influence 20 years ago. But now, day by day, we slowly see in that the world that we thought we knew is not what it is. And this is favorable for us okay this is favorable for um especially people who are melanated i'm gonna just keep it real because we are the alpha and the omega on this planet you know the the planet wouldn't the planet wouldn't survive without us you know the planet is is i'm not trying to get into the sciences right now but you know that we're connected to the sun we are the sun people so um if we weren't here then really <laughs> the sun's rays or the energy that the sun emits will really obliterate the other things that are on this planet you know what i'm saying especially things that are not meant to be here okay so we play a very imperative role despite what the fuck that you see on cnn with you know, police shootings and all that shit. That shit is just to get your attention so that you may focus on the outside instead of on the inside. And y'all have to really, really be careful about that. And that's just really the, it's like just really the illusion. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, well, I know that they're, they're losing power. You know what I'm saying? The people who are in control of, you know, the world's resources are losing power. So they're doing everything that they can to really gain that power by instilling fear and by putting things in the media. But at the end of the day, I tell people all the time, you can't be focused on conspiracy theories. You can't be focused on fucking what the fuck the government going to be doing next. Okay, and it may seem scary, but then I had to think about this too. Like I was telling my best friend, like we've learned it's so much information coming out now, and we're doing so much evolutionary uh, developing, really as a people. You know what I'm saying? Even if you're here, we're on the same frequency because you understand this. You study the occult, obviously, or metaphysics, obviously. But we're not going to awaken. We're not going to go through all this shit this transformation shit and learn all about thoughts as a cult shit just to be thrown in no fucking fema camp i know i ain't reincarnating this bitch to be thrown in no fema camp so therefore i'm not worried about the government you know what i'm saying like they're more they should be worried about me they're more worried about me okay so stay in your power okay it's getting to a point where, like I said, motherfuckers is getting desperate. Those who rule the world are getting desperate. So they're doing everything that they can to um, get your attention in the media. With this Bill Cosby shit. With, like I said, police shootings. With, you know, uh, and other agendas, basically. Your focus should be, okay, how the fuck can I not reincarnate in this bitch and experience this shit again? That should be your focus. And once you get shit right on the inside, once you get shit right within, you won't go without. I can't attest to that. And actually, I saw that shit last weekend when I went to L.A. Like I said, I, I, it should I be worrying about. It should I be concerned about. But 
they always work themselves out. Because I'm protected, because I'm solidified in here. I know who I am, why I came, and I walk with confidence. I walk like I got 10,000 of my ancestors behind me. And I wish a motherfucker would try me. So I say this all the time, y'all. Know who you are. Outside of you building pyramids, okay? That's cool. What else? Okay? So on that note, I'm going to end with, uh, like I said, once again, just thank you all. Um, really just for y'all support. Um, like I said, it's just been really therapeutic just sharing my experiences because, um, like I said, I'm not perfect. I don't want to be a motherfucking, you know, I am a spiritual leader. That's why I came here, but I don't want to put on a facade. I don't want, I don't know. I ain't about to pretend like it's love and light and peace all the motherfucking time. No. Okay. So with that being said, um, if you are interested in natal chart reading, like I said earlier, please visit my website, cosmicchaos.com. Slash Slide the Gemini. If you have any other questions regarding my readings or just anything in general, um, please email me and uh, follow my social media and contact me via my social media. Okay? So, with that being said, I love y'all.